games that came out. One is going to be headlining for you guys the next month. I sound like I'm on a helicopter. What's going on, DJ Mike? Okay. Okay. One is going to be headlining for you guys the next month, but he'll be coming later. But without further ado, the very first comedian of this evening is a legend from El Paso. He's done comedy all over the country. He is a very strong comedian here in Phoenix. He's done the comedy spot. He's been in Tempe Improv, Stand Up Live, and a number of my shows. I'm Sergio Warning from Sergio Warning Productions. We have a number of shows around the valley. Please welcome The Wolf. Oh, yeah, get your together, you guys. Good okay, morning. Um, before you start criticizing me, I was asleep when they called me about this show. They said it was a trap. You said I need twenty dollars. They won't let me in the door. And I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm doing this benefit show. You want to help me out? But I was already up, so I said yes. Otherwise, I'd have been at home talking to a girl, saying, Hey, dude, it's cool. You ever, you ever meet somebody on Facebook? And you start like trying to get it all. You did. I, I haven't done it. You did. Well, there you go. Okay, so there's hope for me. No, I mean not between us. I get threesome. I mean with the girl I'm talking to. Yeah, that's awesome. What about you? You look like you're like you look like you can dress for the. For, what do you call that hat? Koofy? A koofy? No, no, a koofy. Yeah, but let's see. As in. Catch me outside, how about that? I look at you with your crocodile hunter hat, eh? You went to the crocodile hunter? Yeah? yeah? Were you in the military? Any veterans? Any veterans here? Give it up for all the veterans, guys. Thank you for your service. You, you, thank you. Not you, you're the camera. You're the audience at home. Y para todos que están hablando en español, estamos en una, no, una presentación de comedia. Y al que no le guste, que se vaya. Uh, that was in Spanish. I was just saying thank you, welcome to the show. Look at all the lovely people that got the balcony. Oh yeah, look at that. How much were those tickets, man? Free. And that's the best kind. Free and right. My name is The Wolf. My friends call me Vanessa. I'm originally from Louisiana. My dad's Luis. My mom's Anna. Uh, I'm celebrating something myself too. Not sobriety, because I've been sober for too long. I don't know how to count those days backwards anymore. But congratulations to the rest of you. I'm celebrating I just got my college diploma. Thank you, thank you. It took me only it took me 11 years, but I, I got it in uh, January, and uh, I graduated from MIT. No, not what you think. Uh, it's Miguel's International Trucking. It was really hard to, to finish that school because they're always moving, and I have to wait for them to come back. It's like, when are you guys bringing back? We're going to come back off the road in three weeks. So I'm like, oh, shit, I got to go to class in three weeks? What am I, what am I going to wear? What am I going to study? And instead, look at you with your beautiful Hawaiian dress. Are you from Hawaii? Aloha. What is your name? Aloha to you too. You have a, you have a boyfriend? No? Would you like one? I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. I like the older ladies because... You don't have a boyfriend? Well, come on here. What's your name? What's your phone number? Here's my number. 599. Your nagas are mine. I am scared. 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 I moved out here to Phoenix about two and a half years ago, and people in El Paso said, don't move over there. Arizona's racist. I, I didn't encounter, I have not encountered any racism. Well, the black people, it's only the white people that are racist. <laughs> I was interviewing for a job, and I first got out of here, and the interviewer was a white lady. She said, oh my God, you're from El Paso? Oh my God, you went from one desert to another one. I said, yeah, but El Paso is pretty green. He goes, no, it's not. I've been there. It's really just desert. I go, You've never seen all the Border Patrol people down there? It's green. It's green. <laughs> Are you from the USA? Is that what you said? Oh, you saw them the other day. Were you running from them? Yeah. <laughs> Was the helicopter chasing me? Have you seen them? Yeah. My brother's a Border Patrol agent. Oh, my God. Who is that? Yes, you probably saw him. Uh, we don't talk anymore because he deported my mother. 
And the thing about that, my mom and dad divorced when I was just a little kid. And I didn't know that they divorced because my dad never left the house. I just thought he was my older brother. Yeah. As well as just, they were always arguing and stuff like that. Like my mom and my dad separated, but they lived together. So same, same over there? You guys did that too? Oh, you're doing selfies. Please, no cameras, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. You can. Do you have minutes? You have any? You have enough minutes to film the rest of it? Oh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Your Wi-Fi? Uh, uh, oh, you're the husband. She's the Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> I used to work for ATT. I remember being in a lot of phone calls from people going. The older people are going, Hey, my Wi-Fi's not working. I'm like, Well, tell her to get up and get a job. <laughs> no. I need help with my Bluetooth. I can call a dentist. This is AT&T, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I only told you that joke to tell you this way. Your name is Tater Tots? My name is Tater Tots or not? No. Listen. Everybody just listen. 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 Linda, Linda, listen. Linda, listen. Linda, listen. <laughs> I like fat girls. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I like all the girls. All of them. Except the underage ones. They're snitches. But I like all the big girls because they're, they're, I'm a man. But I like the big fat girls. You know which fat, fat, the fat girls I like? The big fat ones with the regular size head but the big body. You push them under the bed and they'll spread out like a cookie. You get on top of these creatures and nothing of yours will touch the bed. You're just hanging out there like a balloon in New York City on Thanksgiving Day. And you're way out there and I'm afraid of heights. I'm just thinking, I hope this bitch doesn't sneeze. So can we turn off the lights? Oh baby, are you scared? Are you scared of heights? Is that what it is? Yes. Also, that light bulb is burning my ass. You don't smell the hair? <laughs> my black friends go, whoa, I like, I like the fat girls too, more pushing for the pushing. And they're right. And then they go, whoa, you shouldn't be a jerk to me because I have an eating disorder. Oh, I know, bitch. You be eating disorder and this one and this one. <laughs> They say, you're being mean. I'm not being mean. It's the skinny girls that made me this way. The hot skinny girls that wouldn't want to date me made me go to the heavy side. It's the best place to be because the skinny girls are conceited. They're like, I'm single. I'm ready to mingle. The fat chicks, they're like, I'm single. Pass me the Pringles. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's true. They, they say more pushing for the pushing. Right, fellas? I'm Mexican. If I see a fat girl, I know there's food in that fridge. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is The Wolf. Give her another round of applause for The Wolf. I told him it was a clean show, so he just took a shower and came in. I don't think he meant to you know, talking about it. You know. It's all good. We got uh, another great comedian coming in. He, uh, I've seen him at the 10 Improv. I've seen him at Stand Up Live. I've seen him at Laughs in Tucson.